Hi everyone, welcome in. Lucy and I are here to do some interesting, exciting crafts today, so join us. So today we're going to be making things out of three items for Easter, we're already to that season, out of plastic spoons. And I've used some of these spoons, but you can get a set of four of them at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I have pre-painted the spoon orange. Figure you don't need to see me painting it. Some of these take more than one coat. The surface of the spoon varies. And in case you can't tell, we're going to be making a carrot here. This is gonna be a carrot for the bunny. And I'm just using a Sharpie marker to use some details on here. You can use white paint or use paint if you want to. Then I'm using felt to cut out a couple of leaves. If you need to, you can Google leaves and trace a template out. I just went ahead on my own and cut them out, applying some hot glue. And I did not have my popsicle stick with me that I used to press down so I don't burn my fingers. Now I have made a bow already out of twine, so I'm going to add that to the top. That's optional. And I did want to say that bunnies are a symbol of hope. I pre-painted this spoon. This is going to be an Easter egg, and I'm adding some rickrack with hot glue and wrapping around the back and adding glue on the back too. Now I painted each color separately and let it dry in between the colors. And here's the spoon that is pre-painted for the bunny. And Lucy is taken off with my rickrack. Oh, she's having so much fun. Well, I think I'm done with the rickrack. I don't need it for the bunny. So I'll just let her play with it. I have a pom-pom for the nose and my famous wiggly eyes. I use the wiggly eyes in a lot of crafts. I'm drawing a mouth, hoping for you to see it upside down, but it looks like the bunny's frowning. I am using a chalk writer to attach whiskers and I went back with the Sharpie marker to add a happier face to the bunny. We don't want a frowning bunny. But he doesn't show hope if he's not happy. I use paper to cut out ears. Had a template for that. If you want to, you can use felt. And those are the completed spoon Easter decorations. I had one bunny already made. I appreciate your joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It helps Lucy get treats, and I appreciate that very much. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. I look forward to seeing you on the next video and look forward to crafting with you again. Thank you. This is such an easy craft. You can do this with your kids or grandkids. It's enjo very enjoyable, especially if you don't have a cat with you. Also, it's very inexpensive. Don't invite the cat. What are you up to? Are you going to carry that off? Huh?